Today I got the final animated story that they're doing. You can watch it in black and white or colour. I'll do a little unboxing of this one. But first I'm going to put it among the ones that they've already animated. So it goes over there. I'll give you a quick look at the ones that they've already done. So from season one we've got the Reign of Terror. Haven't seen that one yet. Season 2, Galaxy 4, that animated all of it. Did a review with that one. In Season 4, because Season 3 hasn't been done yet, they've done all these. So there's quite a lot. The Tenth Planet, it's the last episode that animated. Um, the Power of the Daleks, they did too. I think um, I haven't seen this version. I think the animation's not quite as good as they wanted, so they did it again. So I've reviewed that version on the channel. The Moonbeers, I haven't seen the animation yet. I'll have to watch that one. The Macro Terror. Uh, done all the animation for that. I'm looking forward to watching that one. The Fierceless Ones, all that's done as well. I haven't seen that one. I've seen this one though, The Evil of the Daleks. Brilliant animation. I think the two uh, Trout and Dalek ones are the best for animation. We've got this new one, The Bonnable Snowman. So it's supposedly going to be the last one that they'll be animating until they find someone else to animate the stories. And there's the Ice Warriors, haven't seen the animation for that yet. The Web of Fear I've reviewed on the channel. The animation wasn't um, very good on that one. And Fury from the Deep, haven't seen this one. This is probably one I'm most looking forward to watching. But it's a classic that one. And of course the Invasion from Season 6. I've reviewed that on the channel. That was quite good. That was good animation. So they're the ones that they've done so far. However, there's still 13 more stories to animate. Although really it's just 12. Because Mission of the Unknown can go with the Dalek Master plan. So the stories that they haven't animated yet is the first ones from Season 1. That's Marco Polo. And that's all seven episodes missing. So if they do that one, then that's all a season one done. Then there's the Crusade. There's only two episodes of that that have to be animated. However, the Blu-ray box set that they're bringing out, I think it's in December, they're just going to use Tally Snaps for episodes two and four instead of animating it. That's a real big disappointment for that. I hope one day they animate the missing episodes because I'm not really keen at telly snaps. Then there's Mission to the Unknown. However, this was recreated in 2019 by some students and they did a brilliant job. So if it's ever released on disc, they should put the recreation on the disc as well as the animation. Also from season three is The Myth Makers. That's all missing. Then the big one. The Dalek Master Plan. Episodes missing are Episode 1, Episode 3 and 4, Episode 6, 7, 8 and 9, and Episodes 11 and 12. The only ones remaining are Episode 2, Episode 5 and Episode 10. Next from Season 3 is The Massacre. All four episodes are missing. Then The Celestial Toymaker. First three episodes are missing. Only episode 4 remains. Then the Savages. All four episodes missing. Then we get on to season 4. The Smugglers. All four episodes are missing. Now we're on to Patrick Troughton's era. The Highlanders. All four episodes are missing. The Underwater Menace. Episodes 1 and 4 are missing. Then from season 5. We have The Wailing Space. Episodes 1 and 2. 4 and 5 are missing. And finally from season 6. We have The Space Pirates. Episode 1. Episode 3, 4, 5 and 6 are missing. 
So they're the ones that need to be animated. So there's only 12 if you count Mission to the Unknown as a part of the Dalek Master Plan, which you should do. So hopefully one day they'll get them animated. I think out of all the, the missing ones, I think the top five that I'd most like to see animated are, in fifth place, the Highlanders. This is Patrick Troughton's story. And I'd like that one done because it introduces Jamie, who is an important companion. In fourth place, I'd put Marco Polo. Because I'd like to say if all the hype's true about it being brilliant, and it will also complete season one. In third place, the Celestial Toymaker. The reason is I think it'd be a great story, animated, very colourful. Michael Goff. He's a brilliant villain. I think it'd be a great story. In second place, The Wailing Spears. This is Patrick Troughton's story. And the reason I've put it so high, it's not because I think it'll be brilliant, the story-wise. I think it'll be just an average Cyberman story. But it'll complete all the Cybermen stories, if that's out. And of course, in first place, I've got the Dalek Master Plan with Mission to the Unknown added. Also, the, the Reconstruction added. The reason is that this will complete all the Dalek stories. And I think this might be the best Dalek story. I certainly think it'll be William Hartnell's best. At the moment, I think my favourite William Hartnell story is the Dalek Invasion of Earth. But I think if this gets animated, I think it'll overtake that as my favourite Arnold story. So I think it's about time the BBC helped. It's supposed to be a public service organisation and all the money that the fans have spent on the programme, I think it's about time they gave some of that money back and helped to fund the animation instead of thinking about profit all the time. It's about time they give the fans something back. So anyway, if this is the final animated story, let's... Uh do a little unboxing of it. It's got a slip case. Just telling you the extra features on it. You can watch it in black and white or colour, the animation. Usually I watch it in colour. Although I can see why some people watch it in black and white. It's exactly the same on the back. Let's have a look inside. So I'll open it. As you can see, there's one, two, there's three discs. So that's good. And a little booklet. In the booklet, it'll probably be going on about. It's probably about the animation and uh, production notes. It's quite sad actually, because if this is the last one. It's a pity because I was really looking forward to seeing other animated stories. But it's costing them too much to do it. Which is a real shame because there's only 12, 13 to do. 12 if you put Mission to the Unknown with the Dark Master plan. So anyway, that's the Bonneville Snowman. And I'll probably review this on the channel sometime i'm looking forward to watching the animation okay hope you enjoy this video bye everyone like subscribe and share bye bye